The U.S. military has released photos this weekend that show how it is dealing with hunger-striking inmates locked up at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. The detainees began the hunger strike three months ago to protest their long confinement without trial. NBC's national investigative correspondent Michael Isikoff has more for us tonight. The new photos show the chair where hunger striking detainees are strapped, a tube inserted through their noses, and they are force fed in shore a nutritional supplement. 100 of the 166 detainees are now on the hunger strike, 23 being force fed in what defense lawyer Barry Weingard, just back from the prison, calls an agonizing procedure. When that tube goes up your nose, your eyes begin to water as it passes through the back of your skull, as it passes through your throat, your your you begin to gag and you begin to suck for air. The military says the force feeding is a legally approved procedure followed by the U.S. Bureau of Prisons. President Obama last week vowed to renew his efforts to shut the prison down. The idea that we would still maintain forever uh, a group of individuals who have not been tried that is contrary to who we are. But a top Republican said today the White House is yet to detail what it would do with the detainees. The fact is there has been no coherent plan presented to the Congress. When NBC News visited the prison last year, military so, uh, officials showcased how detainees were living in communal quarters, sharing meals and exercising. But last month, those privileges were revoked, and most detainees returned to solitary to better prevent suicide attempts, officials said. Monitoring them closely, we're better able to prevent that from happening. Tonight, almost all of Guantanamo is in lockdown, just as it was when the prison opened 11 years ago. Michael Isikoff, NBC News, Washington.